we on? There we go. Good morning, church family. It's good to be with you this morning as we gather to, uh, to worship uh, the Lord Jesus Christ together. This is another exciting day for us as we gather. We have a, a young man that's going to come and share his testimony that he's come to Christ and that the Lord has opened his eyes uh, to see that he needs Jesus uh, for salvation, for the gift of eternal life. And this is the beauty of Christianity, um, that uh, Jesus is Lord, that he is God, and he loves sinners. And he came and he gave his life to die on the cross as a substitute in our place uh, for our sins, that if we will put our faith and our trust in him uh, to save us, he will save us and he will give us the gift of eternal life and that we will live with him forever. And so, uh, so here in a minute, I'm going to invite Ethan to come down into the waters. But it's helpful just to explain real quick for us, you know, some things scriptures say to us about baptism. Uh, it's important to remember that when we come into a time of baptism, there's nothing in the act of baptism that washes away our sin. Uh, Jesus does that for us. He's the only one that forgives our sin. And, uh, and you know, the Bible tells us, it makes it very clear that we all need to be saved. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And it says that the wages of sin is death. That's the bad news. But the good news is, is that, uh, that Christ gave his life for us. Um, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of eternal life is, 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 the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Um, and so when we, when we baptize, and you think about baptism, it's helpful to realize some of the important symbolism that happens in the waters of baptism. You know, Jesus, he was on the cross, he died, he, was, he, he died for our sins, he was buried, and he rose again to new life. And so when you see someone go into the waters of baptism, you are seeing a picture of what Christ has done for us. He died for our sins, he buried, and he himself rose to new life. Um, and then when you put your faith in Christ and you reach out to him to save you and you turn from your sin and say, Lord, save me, uh, it's, the scripture tells us that what happens is that we are united to Christ. And so just as he died for our sins, you are united, you are united to him, in him. And so as he died for your sins, he is the one that is able to forgive your sins and you're united with him. Um, and it's also a picture of, of the Christian life that, you know, when we come to Christ, repentance is not just... Uh, you know, repeatedly saying over and over again, I'm sorry to God, but repentance is more than that. Repentance is agreeing with God about our sin and saying, I recognize that, Lord, I am a sinner, you know, and my heart has lived in rebellion and wickedness towards you, and so I want to turn away from that, and I want to turn towards you, God. I want to walk with you. I want to live with you. I want to do what's right. I want to follow you, Jesus, and so um, so baptism is is a picture of of dying to our sin, dying to our old way of living, our old self, and being raised to live a new life in Christ. And we don't do that in our own strength. We do it because the Lord is in us. Amen? And so that's, that's the, the beauty of the Christian life. And so when you see someone go down into the water, it's a picture of them being uh, made new, a new creation in Christ. And so we celebrate this. This is, this is a, a big celebration for us uh, whenever we get to walk, come together and, uh, and, and hear a testimony of what the Lord has done in someone's life. And so, uh, so in a minute here, when Ethan comes, um, uh, we know that, uh, you know, Jesus was in the grave for three days before he rose again. So uh, we're going to keep him under the water for three days. Um, and, and if he comes out alive, we know that he's a true Christian. I'm only kidding. Um, so Ethan, come on in. He's, he's, <clears throat> sorry. Go ahead and introduce yourself and share with us. Hi, so I'm Ethan Fong. Um, my story is, I was raised in the church, brought up, so, as probably most of you, I would imagine. So, I knew going to church, Bible studies, attending youth group, but I never really took it seriously. Until, until like, there came a point where I was almost put on, like, a facade, like, living a double life. Because I was living in the sin of lust, which killed me internally, although externally I appeared like that good Christian kid. But the reality was far from it. It wasn't really until, like, I would either say late middle school or early high school where I kind of got a slap in the face of conviction where it's like you're living this way. And a thought just came to my mind was <laughs> that, <clears throat> like, I'm living in this sin while also claiming to be a Christian in the dark, even though people don't see that, but I knew God saw that. So I was like, how can I say that one thing when I'm doing the complete opposite? That doesn't make any sense. So I took the time to actually take it seriously and learn to slowly bring myself over to those older than me 
like my youth pastor, like friends that I knew and trusted to tell them, I'm, li- I'm living in this, I'm struggling in this. I need to get out. I can't, I can't just treat it as it's a small thing. It is a big thing. So it was actually during youth group, during worship, they did they play Reckless Love. And for some reason, I don't know why, like, I was thinking nothing beforehand, but the moment that song started playing, I just kind of broke down a little bit on, because, like, all that hit me, all that conviction just hit me all at once. And I just knew that I needed to change. I needed to seek God fully because only he would satisfy those areas where I was running wrong. Now in my life, I would say my goal is just to seek God, make him be known, and that everyone else in my life to be seen and shown that love through involvement, whether it's at campus ministry, whether it's at with friends, whether just trying to get involved where I can to serve, continue doing what I did do, even when I didn't treat my faith seriously, but do it with more of a passion, drive, because I know the reality and I know how desperately I need grace and how desperately I have fallen short and how desperately God is good, God is there, even when I, even when I run away from him. Or, as, or like in Hebrews, like we do not have a God who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but in every respect, been tempted as we are, yet without sin. He understands all of the guilt, regret, worry, even to this day that I still somehow struggle with. He understands that and is willing to pull me back, pull everyone back for his glory, to make, for him to be known. Awesome. Thank you, Ethan, for sharing your testimony. Um, so, Ethan, I know uh, that part of your testimony is that you shared, I think when you were about in, at eighth or ninth grade, you know, during that, that one night, you really felt the Lord reaching out to you, and that was like the time in your life when you were like, I believe the gospel, and I'm coming to Christ, Lord, save me and make me new, and that's that was a, like the turning point in your life. Would you say that that was probably the time in your life? Most yeah. likely, yeah. probably. Yeah, that's, and so, um, you know, it's just, it's been awesome to, to hear Ethan's testimony and, and to hear him uh, share how Christ has changed him and given him new life, and, and he's a new man today, and we, we celebrate that, and it's because of Christ. Amen, church? Amen. So, uh, so we're going we're gonna to baptize you, brother. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions real quick. So, uh, Ethan, is it? Uh, do you believe uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord and He is the Son, of, the Son of God? Yes. Yep. And uh, do you believe that He died on the cross for your sin, that He was buried, and He rose again? Yes. Yes. And are you trusting in Him alone for the salvation of your sin? Is it your desire to follow Him all the days of your life? Yep. All right. Amen. All right. So, Ethan, based on your testimony of trusting in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is uh, my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.